Hey, what's going on, my YouTube family? This is Mr. Duffy81 coming to you with another video of myself to let you guys know I'm real. Um, I've actually been wanting to make this for a while now, and uh, been thinking about it. Got this new camera, and I uh, really have had no excuse other than I've been kind of busy this summer. Um, but anyway, here's what happened. I was over at my younger brother's house looking at his garden, and uh, we were just looking at all the vegetables and whatnot, and he has a, uh, a back patio area that has a roof on it, but it's not uh, not walled in or screened in or anything. It just has two posts at the end of, uh, of either corner to hold the roof up. And anyway, as, as we turn to go back inside to it in the house, um, I look up on the on the eave on the side of the roof and there is a literally giant hornet thing. I thought it was a real creature when I first saw it sitting there. I mean, the thing was uh, like this long. No joke. It was gigantic. And it looked exactly like a hornet would look. Big black eyes, yet painted yellow and black, and I noticed it had a stinger on it nearly as long as a toothpick and about four or five toothpicks thick and um, my brother didn't notice it and as soon as he got done talking I pointed up and I says hey look at that and he freaked out he got behind me he put his hand up on my shoulder and he starts taking off his shoe and he says you want me to kill it I'm gonna kill it and the thing was about nine and a half ten feet up I thought maybe he could jump just you know just high enough to get it with his shoe but noticing the stinger I thought god if this thing retaliates and I honestly thought the whole time that this was a, a real bug an insect because my response to my brother was no don't kill it respect nature that's exactly what I told him and I wish he had done he, he had tried to kill it and maybe we had squashed this thing just to see what it really had been because I just thought it was an amazing thing. I watched on a National Geographic show once these giant Japanese hornets raiding a nest of regular hornets, and they were like three inches long or something like that. They were pretty large, but this thing was like seven inches long. I'm not kidding. It was really big. And uh, so I go home thinking it was just nothing more than a freak of nature event. Okay, something escaped from the zoo. I don't know. I read a lot of Dean Kuntz books. Um, you know, maybe it was some military experiment, right? I don't know what it was, but here's what I, what, what was fascinating. About a week later, I'm at my new apartment here, and I got this impulse to open the door. I didn't know if there was going to be a beautiful woman walking by or what, and I didn't really know anybody around here. So I said, okay, I'm just going to follow my heart. I go to the front door, I open it, and I'm the last door next next to the the door to the to the outside from the hallway and the door was propped open with a rock. So I open the door, I pull it open, and on the right side of the wall, on the right hand side of my door on the wall there is the same bug, the same creature, the same thing, okay? And it's a giant friggin hornet. But and as soon as I look at it and as soon as I open the door, I see it drops. It lets go of the wall. And it falls like two or three inches or whatever until it's like wings engage. And then the thing, you know, goes buzzing out. I don't even recall hearing a noise. Um, but the wings were like hummingbird speed fast. It was like, it, it didn't even look real to me. It, it was so just jaw-dropping, amazing. All these things were coming to me at once. I had a revelation of, oh my God, this is not just a bug. There's... The chances that this hornet would show up again is crazy. This is some, you know, human-controlled thing. This is some drone. This is some spy tactic, okay? This is all hitting me at once. I mean, who, who, who's telling me this? My heart's telling me this, and I know this shit is true. The reason being that I think this happened to me is a friend of the family who I talked to who is a general back east... Uh, in in support of Giuliani, I called him out and said, that traitor, 9-11 was an inside job, this and that, and at my brother's wedding in February. And then that summer, this happened, I was doing all my deal on the YouTube, trying to figure out the truth of all this shit, sort through all the disinfo and all these shills, quote-unquote. But the point is, this was a very real event, 
I saw this thing twice, and I didn't think it was, you know, what I said it was until the second time when I realized, you know, all the all the facts came together and I realized what was going on. But somebody, I've left a few comments on the YouTube about this. Somebody else told me, one of my friends here, I've got 100 some odd friends, maybe 200 now, I don't keep count, but the point is, one of them told me about smacking a fly out of the air and having it go ping against the wall. Of course, I asked, did you retrieve the fly? Never got a response, so... I'm presuming they're telling me the truth. I'm telling you right now, I'm for sure telling you guys the truth. But this is amazing. I mean, uh, amazing, amazing. Just the, I haven't seen it again, but I've been on the lookout for this. And, you know, you can listen to some of these interviews, some of these coast-to-coast -coast things. You realize the government's surveilling us, but to what extent? This guy's saying that there's a building they just built in San Antonio, Texas, uh, as big as like the Superdome or some of these football stadiums and what is it for it's to house the electronic information the texts and the emails and whatnot that they're gathering on the American public they can do voice recognition and f they know who you are you know it doesn't matter who, what phone you're calling from uh, the technology is there and the fact is it's being used against us but it is so far ahead of us I'm telling you this was like straight out of a movie when I saw this thing go flying off the wall and buzzing out the door it was like I seriously thought I was in the friggin' movie The Matrix or something. It was just, it was like computer-generated imaging in front of my face, buzzing out the door. And I just, it, it was amazing. You know, I'm lucky. I've had a lot of amazing occurrences in my life. Unfortunately, I don't put this one as one of the beneficial good ones. All the others, I imagine, probably were. Um, or at least I used them to my advantage and, uh, and, and learned from them no matter what it was. But, um... This wasn't a spiritual encounter. This was a uh, an encounter with the evil, secret societal, probably Knights of Malta, uh, in the military, U.S. military, um, who is who are corrupting things and uh, and fighting the Pope's crusades in the Middle East right now. But the fact is, these people are in the NSA, and uh, and you know who knows who, who what agency it was, who what people were behind this. But factually, it happened to me, and I uh, just wanted to document it here on the YouTube. Hope this video turns out well. Uh, leave the comments open and peace be with you all. Goodbye.